You know, I'm passionate about Christian education because God makes clear in His Word that we're to faithfully teach our children of Him and His ways so that they walk in them. I find great joy in seeing the light bulb come on in the eyes of a child when it clicks, that all subjects make sense in light of the truth of God. That joy is magnified when a student sees his or her identity and purpose, not as something that they must discover for themselves, but as something that was purposefully given to them by their Creator. Many years ago, I realized that this was a ministry for me and not a career or a job. It was a ministry. So that settled my heart and my mind and gave me a goal for what I'm doing. I want to make sure that I'm doing exactly what Christ asks me to do, to teach them in the best way that I know. And it's not just about their ABCs, but it's about everything. I love the opportunities that we have to to interact with our students on a daily basis, integrating Bible uh, truth into whatever it is we're teaching. I think this school is so unique uh, in that every aspect of what happens here seems to be very intentionally done. I really thrive in that kind of environment. I really appreciate uh, the leadership and, and how each one of us are encouraged to live and teach intentionally. You know, most programs are about winning, and we like, I mean, we're okay to, if we win, but that's not the point. Our point is to build character and to build friendships and, and to teach the students at every opportunity we have. And, and sports is a good way to help these students see every part of their life can bring glory to God. I'm, I'm really pleased with, with the coaches I get to work with, just watching their passion, not only for the sport, but for the students, a lot of them are parents here, and so they're invested in, in trying to create the best atmosphere for the students, and, and they want to teach them character, they want to teach them sportsmanship, they want to teach them integrity. Just seeing so many students go out for sports is really fun for me. You know, what I, I feel most confident about is that what's being taught at school is what's happening at home too. So it's right in line with our parenting. I love the fact that we're all working together, we're all on the same team to really um, mold our child to be more of who Christ wants them to be. You know, I, I can teach her about God at home and we can have her grow up in that at home, but when she's getting it at school, she is just filled with the Spirit and she just wants to share the truth with everyone. One of the most important things to really just pass on to the kids is that music is a gift from God and that we can offer that up to Him as worship. I try to instill in the kids that even when we're doing silly music and dancing silly and things like that, that make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I'm Mary Misnick and I was a student at Heritage Christian School from kindergarten through eighth grade. And then after graduating from UNI, God just brought me right back here to teach. Academically, Heritage impacted me by my teachers just setting a standard of excellence that was incredibly high. And so it was at Heritage that I really feel like I learned how to study and how to learn and how to work hard. And I didn't fully realize how impacted I was by going here to school for nine years until I was taken out of this environment and my beliefs were uh, finally challenged. And it was during that time that I realized I could confidently set the Bible as my standard and as my reference point through which I would evaluate everything else that I was learning and everything else I was experiencing. There's something so beautiful about being able to explicitly teach truth from God's Word. And I really wanted to freely be able to do that and to be able to tell students how precious and valuable they are as God's image bearers. In many ways, I think that I spend more time with these students at this point in my life than with anyone else. And so naturally it becomes my prayer that as I spend time with them and as they perhaps follow my example, that they would really be following the example of Christ. And that's only by God's grace. And I just pray that that's the case. 